I'm not making any promises, so don't get ideas. OK, I'll let you know when to expect me. Bye. Where are you off to now? Brighton. You're going home? Oh, that's wonderful news. I knew you'd see sense eventually. We've agreed to talk things through. He is my husband. And Dee Dee is your daughter. She must be missing you like mad. Yeah, I miss her. You're doing the right thing. He's certainly keen. It's Steve. You don't have to answer it. Well, I can't just ignore him. He's been ignoring you. At last. Where the hell have you been? There better be. So, how was your first day? Good, yeah, yeah. I'm meeting a potential new client in Scarborough next week. Mm. Scarborough, hey, will he still talk to us? <laughs> Are you mocking me, Bob? Uh, just a bit, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm really pleased for you. Hey, who says you can't have it all? <laughs> Nick will be wondering where you are. No, he's taking Molly swimming this afternoon. I oh, know he got back ages ago. He said he was going to make you a nice tea. Mum, you could have told me that before I ordered Sorry. my coffee. Sorry, Sorry love, I'm going to have to go. Mm. Bye -bye. Oh, there's a latte going begging if you're interested. No, thanks. Just need to talk to Laurel. Paddy and Marlon are at the pub. Fancy joining them? I've got the keys. I've squared that with Sandy. Rona, you had no right. Well, I'm just trying to be a friend. Well, I'm fine. The hotel, I was just, you know, I was just being silly. No. What's silly is pretending that you and Marlon don't have a problem. You have to clear the oh, air. what, because you and Paddy are bliss personified? Well, we are now. He sent Brett packing. Why, what's he done? He tried to get in my pants. Yeah, well, I hope you told him where to go. Of course I did. Why would I want to hurt the man that I love? What? You mean like me? Stop thinking that I'm having a go at you. If you care about Marlon, then you have to be honest with him. Well, that's me told, isn't it? Certainly is. Come on. <sighs> What's all this? I've made tea. Oh, why? Well, I just felt like it. Spuds, what be you in? Up to summer. Oh, you can't have a go at her for making tea. Um, I saw Cameron today. Apparently, Chas is having a bit of a tough time. Well, prison's not supposed to be a picnic. Well, no, one of her prison friends killed herself, and I was wondering if we should send a message. She's still your niece. Yeah, and Debbie's my granddaughter. Sometimes you have to take sides. We've discussed this a thousand times. What did you say to Steve? Mum, it's all sorted, OK? So don't pester. What can I get you? Women don't burst into tears for no reason. Do they not? Has Rona said anything to you? No, we've had our own little drama to cope with. What am I supposed to say to him? Well, the truth would be useful. Oh, I thought you had Gabby tonight. Oh, no, she's spending some time with her grandpa. Maybe that's where I should be. No, look, he's bought you a drink. Oh, I'm sure Sandy can cope. We all need a little break every now and again, don't we? Is she even a ticket babe? She took a break from Gabby for ten years. Stop assuming the worst of people. <clears throat> Hi. All right. <clears throat> oh, we, we need to have a little chat. Thought so. No, it's, it's all good, though, isn't it? Yeah, I hope so. Right, good. <clears throat> Come on, then. Let's, let's leave them to it. Really? I kind of had my heart set on a steak and ale pie. Oh, well, you'll just have to make do with spaghetti hoops then, won't you? Come on, big boy. Well, that was subtle. Are you having doubts about us? It's not that. Then what is it? I'll wash up. Oh, you're all right, love. You've still got your homework to be getting on with. Gemma's right. not expecting me till six. What are you on about? She's helping me with my science project. You're going nowhere. Don't you want me to do well at school? How's hanging out with Gemma going to help? She's top of the class in science. Her dad's fine with it. You can ring him if you don't believe me. Her dad could be anybody. Fine. You know what? I'll stop in, do the project by myself and get a D. Hey, don't you start getting strappy. I just don't see why you always think the worst of me. Look, um, her science is slipping and it's not like we won't know where she is. 
How long is this here project going to take? I'll be back by nine. Eight thirty. Hey, on the dot, mind. And I, I want to see what you've done. All right. Thanks. I hope we're doing the right thing here. She's a good kid. That Gemma isn't, though, is she? The thing we're doing science don't work. Oh, I want to believe me. Okay, see you in ten. You know, one minute I'm the vicar's wife, pillar of the community, and the next I've uprooted my family and I've left half of them behind. So, I mean, you're saying what? You regret us getting together? No, no, not for a second. I'd never regret that. I just wish. Things weren't so difficult, you know, all this stuff with Gabby. And you and Sandy are not exactly bosom buddies and that Bernice. I mean, let's face it, I'm just making your life a misery. Is that what's worrying you? Everything's just such a mess, isn't it? Do you love me? Yeah, of course. Good, because I love you. And that's what really matters, isn't it? I, I should have told you that, Paddy. I should have done. So from now on, we tell each other stuff. Whatever's bothering us, agreed? We'll get through this. Not gonna be easy, though. Well, easy's for wimps. Come here. Mum, it's been a bit of a change of plan. What? I read Steve the Riot Act and uh, told him I was thinking of going back to my husband and, um, well, seems to have done the trick. In fact, He's arriving tomorrow. My niece. He loves me, Mum. Oh, no, wait. This isn't happening. He's made promises. What about the promise you made to Charlie less than an hour ago? Think of Dee Dee. You can't treat people like this. Yeah, but it was Charlie that was keeping Dee Dee away from me in the first place. Either way, she's eight years old. You built up her hopes and now one call from your fancy man and you change your mind just like that. Oh, I'm not having it. You need to get on a train to Brighton and show her how much you love her. I can't do that. In that case, I will. Mum, I don't want you interfering. Interfering? She's my granddaughter. I adore her, even if you don't. You know how much she means to me. Not as much as Steve does, clearly. I'll go and get me bags packed now, shall I? Someone's got to be a mother to that poor little girl, cos God knows you aren't. Right, so what did he say to you? Nothing. You don't just sack your solicitor for no reason? It's done now. Is it the money? Because I don't care about the debt, I just want you out of here. That's not going to happen, though, is it? You're upset about Tracy, OK? But we've got to... We can't lose hope. OK, we've discussed this. And what good has hope done me so far? You're innocent. Am I? I murdered a bloke that I used to be madly in love with. What's to say that me and you don't fall out one day and I give you one slap too many? <gasps> That's ridiculous. Well, it's obviously something I'm capable of, isn't it? I'm going to plead guilty. No, you, you can't. You can't do that. My mind's made up. Tess, you didn't murder Carl. Can you stand up in court and prove that? See? We're just kidding ourselves. No jury is going to let me walk out of here. Let's face it, this is where I belong. We're going to talk about this tomorrow. No, we won't, because I don't want you coming back here. I'm not about to abandon you, am I? That's exactly what I want you to do. Seeing you just reminds me of what used to be. Jess. No, I'm sorry. I'm better off on my own from now on. <laughs> 